based on this uh, backend java backend development so the technology which i am using is a java with a spring boot microservice a spring cloud component as a backend some of the exposures in a front end as angular 9 also i have a good experience in aws cloud services and database which i have are like a mongo and oracle and coming for the devops like i have good experience in the devops part which is used for the development and monitoring while we are using the multiple tools like apache maven jenkins jira github vlk splunks and all so these all are the technology stack which i have and uh, i have also good experience in the domain perspectives like uh, uh, telecom e-commerce banking and health insurance so the current project which i am working that is health insurance project so that project is nothing but a portal where we are providing customer to facilitate whatever the insurance he want he can take through the portals or maybe in the different device of mobile applications and all so while he will take uh, any type of insurance after that we'll have a process to the multiple executions like uh, we will initiate a particular slot stores and after that we'll get uh, some redemption some account amount so for that we'll have a validations of promo codes and all once he will take them then after that we'll have a premium calculations once premium will be calculated and amount will be paid then they will get some notifications email alerts and all so that uh, we'll have a multiple microservices which need to be communicated each others and provide the fulfilled requirement for the customer initiate the insurance so my role and responsibility here for this project we are following agile so whatever the sprint task will be defined we need to work on that uh, based on the jira task so uh, um, like on daily activities like we are following developing a microservices applications uh, as per the client requirement so we need to uh, uh, end to end development we will do some of the cases will have already microservice which has de developed in that cases we need to uh, customize that applications uh, as per the requirements and all so for that uh, we'll have a multiple api calls will be there either maybe internal call or maybe third party calls so for that uh, we use uh, rest template or kafka which is a uh, asynchronous mechanism uh, communications call apart from this while we are handling this uh, handling this uh, applications then whatever the deployment or uh, sorry whatever the uh, deployment we have uh, development we have completed for that we'll have a multiple deployment with the different different uh, stages so while it will go for the production stages in that cases we will be available on call so whatever the changes we have done that we can sure uh, like uh, is going for the production deployment and after that we will check all the configurations request as per the response is coming proper or not what are the log message we are printing what are the configuration changes port binding and all we have done that is proper or not so that if anything will be there we can debug the log immediately in the production and give some the hotfix deployments and all but mostly we will be there on the call while well, the deployment will happen so this type of development i am doing So are you handling a project from scratch or it's a, like a new enhancement which are coming? Mostly will be there right now uh, in the new enhancement which, which is coming for the client uh, because that project I was already developed in that. But before that which I was working on e-commerce platform in that. In that case is mostly we developed the application based on scratch itself. Okay, so what uh, what Java version you are working on with Java version? Java mostly I use 7 and 8 uh, right now. Okay, so any new feature you know about Java 8? Uh, yeah, Java 8, most of the features we use like a Lambda expressions, functional interface, stream API, optionals, okay. date time and method reference and all. Okay, so what are functional interfaces? Functional interfaces are nothing but like a way uh, while we are creating a functional interface in that you can annotate with the other functional interface and then inside that uh, interface will have a single abstract method will be there and in java 8 onwards we can add a abstract method uh, sorry a default method and now a static method in that we can use okay but, so can one function interface extend the other function interface uh, uh no because once you will be extend that then uh there will be sing two abstract method will be called so okay. uh that will not be applicable uh at least only uh, at, at more at most only one abstract method is required while you are calling then uh, okay. if two will be there like uh, in that cases uh, uh, like uh, one interface will have or uh, like uh, abstract method m1 in second cases abstract method m2 then that will be two uh, abstract method will be there so that will not force 
Okay, so if if you have like uh, let's imagine like we have an interface mm -hmm. A, mm -hmm. and I have a one abstract method say text. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have another interface that is the function interface interface B, mm -hmm. and that is annotated with function interface, mm -hmm. and it's extended A, mm -hmm. and I'm not adding any of the method in that. So will it be a function interface? Yeah. Why? Because you told uh, in the function, but at least one inter uh, abstract method is required. But you have mm -hmm. mentioned as a uh, like a, uh, what you told like uh, questions like in a single abstract method. Like one, I have a interface A with single abstract method, mm -hmm. and the other one is B. That is a functional interface, and there is no method into it, and it's extended the A interface A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, one abstract method is required here in B class while you are declaring the. So if you are not declared, then uh, you will get uh, some uh, compile time. Okay. Okay. Uh... So, have you worked with optional? Yeah, optional is used for this uh, like uh, null pointer exception handler. Like suppose if you are not providing uh, internally to handle uh, null and all. So that uh, if you use optional, then automatically that will be taken care of all the null empty handle lessons and all. Okay. So, uh, do you know what is serialization? Uh, yeah, serialization is a way while we are uh, communicating the file uh, as a byte stream from one network to another network in that cases we'll have uh, some unique id while you are creating while we are sending the data so that data will convert into byte stream so that byte will uh, sorry byte so byte will be some unique data based on that they will convert so serial version uid is a uh, uh, like uh, one l or maybe uh, different or there so through that they will convert and while uh, the others uh, file where they are getting the this file and they want to deserialize in that cases the same uh, unique uh, serial version id that will be deserialized that what is the use of that uh, serial version id Serial version ID is use a like it's a ID unique ID which will be used while converting or deserialized your uh, byte code. So based on that, they will serialize. Is it necessary to define that? Uh, no, if you are not defining, then internally that will be there as a serial version UID as a okay. one L. Okay. So do you know what are immutable classes? Immutable classes is the class which you can't modify anything in that those. So that serial, like a string is a immutable classes are there. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, we can create a custom immutable classes also while we'll create a class name as a final in that we'll have our attribute as a public static uh, final and uh, constructor creators. So, and there will be have a only getter method will be there. There is no setter methods and all will be there. So in Java, we'll have a multiple things are there, but a string is also immutable classes. So if you go for okay. internal implementation, so mm -hmm. like that they create. Okay. Uh, so uh, I have a problem statement. Okay. Can can you share your screen with Notepad or any yes. ID, so, yes. whatever you are preferable. Let's suppose I have a string. Mm -hmm. uh, a A B C. -C. Okay. I'm. Um, Printing this. Just go to the chat window. This is my string. Okay. What I need to do, I need to find the first non-repeating character in this string. Uh -huh. You got the question, right? Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, like that we can do here uh, first we have a string uh, a string is there so first we will convert it to this string to this uh, character array and after that we will process one by one by using for loop when you say s dot caret you are doing the backlash and then your double quotes so what is the return type of caret uh, return type of Characters they will be uh, like all the characters will be divided like A A B as a character. Uh, okay. It will not. Okay. What is the difference between character and care? Character is used for like uh, if you have a single characters of care of characters of data that then we can use a characters like a uh, is a single quote so will you be have, in the line number four you have mentioned character one is character and one mm -hmm. is care one mm -hmm. is the wrapper so, class and one is the class this so is the wrapper class character is a wrapper class caret is a method which is used for uh, break the string uh, in the care character form so that all the characters we would place in this ch array okay it will not uh, but still okay it will convert it into a character array then further what you have done and after that we will process the data based on this loop so mm -hmm. we will call one by one as a a and like a next element of a so if both are great uh, equal then that is a duplicate element so if i want a non duplicate non repeatable characters so mm -hmm. uh, in that cases we'll check i is not equal to j if not then we will print a i so that will be the first repeated in characters and after that we will break that okay for zero and it will run till till uh, a length minus one like this will be a start from a to f zero okay the very first element will be a a yeah and, how it will... and after that uh, the j will have a a second day index of one uh, no i'm not getting that sorry can you tell me again uh, i will be a start from zero index of zero is the a okay the very first time it will go into the loop yeah right yes the i is zero yes okay and after that what will happen is j j is zero j is less than zero J is not less than uh, zero plus one. I plus one will be there here. Yeah? 